welcome back to Rebecca's Travels and um, also welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle channel. Today I'm going to be doing another latest travel news worldwide part one. So let's jump right into it. Now breaking travel news dot com is where I've got the following information from so let's fire away with number one bench event unveils plans for the future hospitality summit in saudi arabia wow bench event has revealed the first details of the upcoming future hospitality summit organised al alongside the Ministry of Tourism in Saudi Arabia. Wow, that sounds awesome. The event will take place live from Ridia or Riyadhia, which is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Wow, I hope that event goes as well as possible for obviously bench the company and saudi arabia um so fingers crossed it turns out brilliant now number two whiz air abu dhabi welcomes the first air 321 neo to fleet wow that it looks absolutely awesome on breaking travel news's website it's a joint venture established between hold company adq and whiz air the airline recently recovered national carrier status from the government of the united arab emirates wow that sounds awesome so i hope that goes as well as possible and uh, people and staff are d delighted on flying on the first A321 Neo. So uh, that uh, that's again some brilliant news. And uh, number three, Sia Group launches new Allo Safer analytics tool travel technology news this is sierra group has launched a new data partial for the travel partners which offer comprehensive insights on future searches of bookings and travel behavior wow that sounds awesome so it can track the latest trends and create future bookings and future searches so wow it sounds fantastic i hope it goes brilliantly now number four london city to belfast in the republic of ireland the connection has been restored so that's excellent news so people can travel from belfast to london city and at london city to belfast so that's um again really good news as well now unfortunately virgin has to cut 1150 more jobs as recapitalization wins approval so that again is really unfortunate that virgin have got to do that but hopefully if again virgin do better and um, within say the next year ago or so then they might be able to uh, rehire staff so fingers crossed hope they do it and um 
Number six, Radisson Hotels adds dual brand property at Heathrow. So that's really good news um, that Heathrow are getting more hotels um, as well. So, um, so there's more hotels um, for airport stopovers. Um, that clients can choose and number seven courtyard by Marriott Peng Nang takes the brand into Malaysia so wow that's again really good for the Marriott um, hotel company so best of luck with that and for Real S Cruises joins Fred Olsen fleet in Scotland and that's number eight and that's the last and final news and um, again it's really good news that uh, for Real S Cruises are going to be joining Fred Olsen fleet so more cruises for Scotland to different places and um, say around Scotland so that's excellent news um, again thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please press the red and white subscribe button and also if you can click the notification bell um, I upload at least uh, three to five times a week both on my lifestyle and travel channel and um, I love you all I love uh, speaking about travel and lifestyle and um, the next video is going to be this Wednesday so uh, because I'm working tomorrow so Bye for now. I love you all. You all mean the world to me and stay safe everybody and a big thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.